I got Smokey Schmort, Schmortz, Schmortz, Schwartz, 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 yes. With Burnt Ends Barbecue. They're based out of, they have a place in Kansas City and also in Denver, yes, right? Right, right in uh, the heart of Overland Park, Kansas. Uh, and we have one at the DTC Center out here in Denver. And where are you based out of? Uh, I am from Kansas City, okay. so I started it out there and I brought one to Denver. You started Burn Ends Barbecue. Yeah. Now, tell us the story behind it and kind of well, where it all began. Uh, this, is, this has been a project going for many years uh, when I started working in barbecue. And I linked up with PB&J, Paul Corey, the owner, and uh, we devised some ideas. He really wanted to get into the barbecue field, and I was his ticket in, and we kind of made this happen. And how long have you been barbecuing then, like with for, for Burn End Barbecue? For Burn Ends, uh, we started this concept uh, on paper, putting it together fully about 2010. Okay. Yeah, so since then. And have you been to the Beaver Creek Blues, Brews, and Barbecue Festival before? This is my first year. Okay. Yeah, first year we're here. Now, I see it's called Burn End Barbecue. Yeah. Is that because you do a lot with Burn ends, I'm guessing. Burn right? ends. Burn ends is a signature item from Kansas City. You can't. I mean, you can get it in other places, but it's not the same. It's from there. It originated there, nope. and we're spreading it out. And we think we have the best. We named it for it, and we've pretty it's much your signature, it. right? So yeah, yeah. I tried some burn ends last year from a local place that mm -hmm. I, I'd never had them before, mm -hmm. and I think it might be my my favorite. Uh, cut a piece yeah. of the meat, and I love we, it. What, what is a burn end, though? What is uh, it? Burn end is the uh, part of the brisket that's been taken off. It's a very fatty cap of the brisket. Uh, not many places use it. So we take it, we render it down, we smoke it a number of hours. We caramelize the top with our seasoning, Ugh. turn it into a candy coating, and we call it meat candy. <laughs> Meat yeah. candy. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. you got this thing up to temperature where you want it. Yeah. What do you get? What do we? So you're just kind of starting today, getting the just, day going, right? We're just getting it rolling. We're gonna just throw on a couple slabs of ribs that we have. We brought with us. We did a double smoke on these ribs. I know it sounds kind of odd. We do a lot of different things in most places. It okay. kind of puts us apart and makes us better. And that's why the line was so long here that's yesterday right. afternoon. What I'm hoping for, yes. <laughs> we want that to happen again today because right. burn ends right here. You want to get this thing going? Yep. Show I'm, us just gonna, I'm just going to get this puppy up here. Whoop, you all right? Yeah, good. This is heavy. It's about 3 million pounds. Right now, I'm just going to get these ribs that have been pre-marked, pre-seared for the festival here. They're just going to go on there. They're going to start smoking away. The heat will rotate around it with the smoke, bring it around, give it its caramelization, tenderness, make it juicy again, and we're ready to roll. So Once these have so these have been. They're already cooked, though, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. For this event, so many people, we had to pre-do some stuff, but we only do it part way, so that we are actually finishing the items here on site. So then, how long until that rack of ribs is ready to be served? Within an hour. Oh, that quick, huh? Yeah, okay. it's, it's a good hot temperature, but it's not so hot that it's going to overcook the product or destroy it. It's going to smoke it. So we're looking forward to this, and I think everybody's going to love our ribs. So so ribs, burnt ends, those and are the and some brisket? We've got, no, we didn't do brisket this year because we brought the beef burnt ends, but we do have our pulled pork, which is another signature item. I guess you could say every item is going to be signature for us because we just put a little extra into it. So, Okay, Smoke, you got a website? Uh, we do. It's Burn In. Well, for Denver, it's going to be Burn In Barbecue, all one word, Denver.com. Okay. Burn In Barbecue, BBQ, Denver.com. And then how about if people are watching from the Kansas City yeah, area? Exactly the same. Burn In Barbecue, <laughs> BBQ, KC.com. KC.com. Yeah. Smokey, thanks for your time. You bet. Appreciate you it. you got to stop by Blues, Brews, and Barbecue. Right here at the top of the lower escalator, you're going to find the Burn Ends Barbecue Smoker Absolutely. and the team and Smokey and Janie and everybody else. Absolutely. Stop by and check it out. Thanks for your time again. You bet. Thank you. All right, have a good time right. here in Beaver Creek. The sun is out. We have weather coming up next with Eric.